Hi, let's plan December together. I'll be using my digital planner on my iPad. This is the new iPad Pro, the 11 inch size, which I'm finding to be the perfect size lately for writing and drawing and taking notes. And this is my Apple Pencil sleeve. I love it because it's very minimal and soft, but has a very nice kind of abstract design. Still works with magnetic charging and double tap, and I will have it linked in the description below. All right, and the app I've been using lately for digital planning specifically is called Noteful. Here's a look back at November. I did some very basic planning in November. November was a very busy month for me, so I really leaned in on it being very functional. I do already have stuff on here on my December monthly. Did a little bit of planning ahead last month and I carried that over to this spread, but I'm going to make this look a lot better and finish planning for the month. I've been trying out portrait planning, which I love, but it is a pain to add stickers and split screen in portrait. So I do turn my iPad when I go to add digital stickers or widgets. Apple recently added slide over back in update iPadOS 26.1. So if you do miss slide over, don't forget to update your iPad because it's back. Slide over, in my opinion, is perfect for adding stickers to your digital planner because you can just swipe it in and out of view out of the way and it keeps that slide over window. So I'm just going through all of my folders of my digital stickers and downloading the December ones, things like my boho Christmas set, my chicmas Christmas set, and so on. I have so many fun December sticker sets that it's honestly just hard to choose from them. So I'm going to pick a few stickers from all of the sets to use. I love them all. I have them all stored on my iCloud drive and that way it makes it really easy to drag and drop stickers over. I do have some stored in my goodness elements. Not all of them are stored in my noteful elements just yet. I just want to have them all downloaded before I go through and choose which ones I do want to drag and drop in my planner. So that's what I'm doing. With some of my favorites added to my digital planner, I'll worry about placing them later to fill out my spread. After I've added things like the appointments and the events and payment reminders and all of that that I need to add. So I'm just going to go through and add when my payments are due or certain events. I am using the text tool here, but I have scribble enabled, which allows me to write everything out and then it converts it to text. This is something you can turn on in the settings of your Apple pencil, by the way. So you want to make sure that you have that on before you use handwriting to text in an app like Noteful or an app like Goodness. Now, once I have everything written out, then I can go through the next step of actually placing it all where I want and color coding it, which I love to do. I grabbed this bill icon to pair with my payment due dates. This icon is actually from my planning icons and labels sticker set. It's honestly one of my most used sets because it's so simple and pairs really well within the planner and with a lot of different stickers, of course, which I don't think I've mentioned the planner I'm using yet. This is the Cyberry 2026 planner. It is the mini version of the planner, which has November and December 2025. That way I can adjust to my new digital planner before moving fully into my 2026 planner and getting that all set up, which I will be doing in just a few weeks. And I'm so excited to do that. Now, for whatever reason, I could not get the emoji keyboard to pull up in Noteful. Maybe that's a limitation of Noteful. It's not something I've tested honestly, but rather than doing my testing here, I'm just going to do a little shortcut, know how I can grab it from the keyboard just by opening the notes app, grabbing the tooth emoji to add to my calendar as a reminder to switch out my Invisalign trays, which I have to do weekly. And I like to just use a tooth emoji for that. I love using emojis and icons that way. So if you're in need of an icon, be sure to check out your emoji keyboard. I decided that it would be best to add my payment and finance stuff on a separate layer in Noteful. So I just created a new layer and copy and pasted all of the events for those on this layer. That way, when I am adding events or tasks or whatever to my monthly calendar, I won't accidentally disturb the finance stuff because this stuff is unlikely to change month to month. These are just kind of set dates that I got to go with, you know, 
but things like events or tasks, appointments, things that are more, you know, movable in my monthly calendar as I'm scheduling things, I'll have those on their own layer too. And I am color coding with the highlighter in Noteful, grabbing some of the color using the eyedropper from stickers that I do plan to use on this spread. That way everything matches and looks cohesive and nice together. I'm taking the same approach to color coding my YouTube video schedule. I thought about adding my YouTube schedule to a different layer than my tasks and events and appointments, but I thought better of it just because this is still something that I update pretty often, move videos around, change the video idea entirely, just things that I update. And I don't wanna have that on a separate layer when I'm not you know, switching layers too often while I'm planning. So if I wanna move things around, move things forward or back, change a video idea entirely, it just doesn't make sense to have it on its own separate layer in my eyes since it's something I update often. Anyway, it's just a matter of color coding the rest of the events that I have planned in my digital planner, whether that's my work schedule or family holiday events for the month, because that is starting to kick off here. I thought it would be nice to differentiate the days of December from the previous month and the next month by creating a border around them. I like Noteful because you can actually choose from certain shape styles. And if you select the filled option, for example, you can adjust the opacity of the fill color, which I love. I don't really have a process for decorating with stickers. I normally just focus on spaces that feel kind of empty in my spread and then let the stickers speak to me on where they want to go. Now, the end of the year always feels so stressful for me because I can feel myself wanting to check out and take a break since it is the busiest quarter of the year for me. So this year I am hoping to take a true break, which I don't normally do. It's difficult to afford to, but it's well needed this year. My family is suffering a bit with how much I work, I think. So I am using the checklist on my December notes page to make a list of things that must be completed before I take a break and things that I'd like to complete before I take a break but won't make or break anything if I don't get to it. I screenshotted and added the checklist again to differentiate between the two types of list that I'm making for myself and I added it to a different layer since I don't wanna accidentally move and adjust the checklist itself that I added since it's essentially an image. And then I can go back to my base layer and then add my to-dos on top of that checklist. Now, one thing I don't like about Noteful that I do love about GoodNotes is that when I'm screenshotting parts of my digital planner, it just makes it more pixelated than if I did that in an app like GoodNotes or really any note-taking app. It's just something I've noticed with Noteful that screenshotting parts of my planner and then placing them on pages to kind of create my own templates or customize my planner further, it just looks slightly more pixelated than other note-taking apps I've done this trick in. I'm not sure why that is the case with Noteful. And it is noticeable when zooming in, but with being zoomed out, it's not too noticeable. Anyway, that's just a noteful thing. With this setup, I am done planning for December in my digital planner. The only thing I like to do after is set up my Notion finances page in my money map dashboard, because even though Siberia has a monthly finances page, I like to track all of that in Notion. Because I have it set as a template, there's really not much to do except write in the dates and type up my money goals for the month. And then throughout the month, I usually come back to my Notion throughout and add my transactions, track my spending, view my budget, and so on. I like to plan the week or the day a day before the start of the week or a day before the day I'm planning. So I'm going to leave this plan with me here. I hope you found this to be a cozy plan with me. Maybe you threw me on in the background while you planned. And if you did, I would love to know what you are most excited for this month that you have planned. It will be my toddler's second Christmas, which is so exciting to me because he can experience just a little bit more than he could last year. And I can't wait to see the holidays through his eyes again. It's just always really exciting for me. 
If you love this video, then you'll love all my other Plan With Me videos. I share other tips and tricks throughout those videos, so it's kind of fun to see and binge watch them all because you're just fed tips in an entertaining way and see how my spreads have changed over time and the different planners I've used throughout. So that is a good playlist to check out, especially if you're new to Cyberry or if you're new to digital planning as well. Now, I do have a full setup of my 2026 digital planner coming soon. I will be using my Cyberry 2026 planner. I'll also be integrating a little bit of Notion and all of that. We're gonna cover vision boarding and reflection and goal setting and planning months, weeks, and days. I'm setting it all up in my quick mini pages and I'm very, very excited for the process. But if there's anything that you want to make sure that I include in that video, do let me know down in the comments. I am quite excited to get set up. This is my favorite time of the year, just kind of getting all of my digital spaces ready for 2026. I just cannot wait. Anywho, I will see you in the next video. Bye.